Yo, 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 what's good, y'all? This is your boy Melo back with another video. And on this video, what we're going to talk about is how to be able to fund your broker account for the challenge or just whenever you're trying to be able to, you know, start trading live, right? Super excited for you guys. This is where the process begins. But let's go ahead and start with step one. And let's go ahead and get your cash app verified and things of that nature, all right? So what you're going to do, obviously, you need the cash app. Click on cash app. All right. And then bottom here at the bottom left-hand corner. You're going to click that, <clears throat> and then you're going to click Bitcoin. Now, this is my screen is going to look different. If you're first time going ahead and getting verified through Cash App, what you're going to need to do is click a button. You're going to see where it says Enable Withdrawal, where you see like my Bitcoin address. This option isn't going to be available for you if you're just watching this video and haven't enabled withdrawals and um, to be able to receive payments or send money via Bitcoin. You need to get verified first. So. Go ahead and click enable withdrawals and, you know, go through those questions or whatever, just marketing data for them uh, to be able to find out what their users are using it for um, so they can continue to promote and, uh, you know, do ads and different things of that nature. So just fill that stuff out. Um, and then at the end, it's probably either going to have you take a picture of yourself and a picture of your ID. And uh, that process normally takes up to 24 hours. But this is why I want to go ahead and show you guys. So in here. Any money that you have in Cash App or don't have in Cash App, guys, in Bitcoin, you can go through, right? You'll see how much you have in Bitcoin. I don't have anything purchased. So what I would do is go to this little squiggly line here at the bottom. And on here, you can see that you can trade stocks or you can you can buy stock on here. That's pretty cool. And you can, obviously, I'm using it to buy Bitcoin. So what you'll do is, obviously, you can go here, but pay attention to this down here, right? You could buy Bitcoin. So let's just say the minimum deposit for Hugo's way and for the challenge right now is a hundred dollars. But the minimum deposit for Hugo's way in general is just fifty bucks. Um, you can start trading through Hugo's way live for just as little as fifty bucks. Uh, some brokers allow you to do it as little as ten. Um, for the sake of the challenge, we're going to do a hundred dollars. Okay, so I'll press next. I got Face ID on mine, and then you will press confirm at the bottom to make sure it's there. And it says how much of Bitcoin I purchased. $100. Fair enough, right? So when you want to go ahead and fund your broker, guys, you will obviously go to Hugo's way. That's the broker that we have. Already gaining one cent on my money. Pretty cool. So I'm already logged in on Hugo's way, right? So guys, make sure you pay attention to these next few slides because this stuff can be confusing if you're not paying attention. So pay attention. When you're trying to send money, click the top left-hand corner and collect select deposit make sure you do a deposit request okay you make sure you select us dollar okay us dollar that's what we're sending to the broker okay the type that we're sending is bitcoin so what that's really saying is we're sending it to a us dollar wallet okay top right hand corner says 90 cent that's our us dollar wallet okay and we're trying to send it via bitcoin once we send it and transfer a Bitcoin, it automatically transforms itself back into a U.S. dollar once it hit our broker. Pretty cool, right? So I'm going to say $100 because that's what I have in my cash app. Redirect me. Okay. What's very important is that at the top where you see send BTC 0.01321924, that's what we want to go ahead and press in here. So there's two ways to do this, guys. One, if you have Hugo's way pulled up on your computer, then you can scroll down on your computer and let's go back to Cash App. I'm going to click the bottom left hand corner and we're going to click, we're going to select withdraw Bitcoin. Now we select withdraw Bitcoin because we are sending money. So think of the deposit as you're receiving money and withdrawing as if you're sending it. Okay. And then what we want to do is we want to copy that address excuse me, the, so we want to copy, we want to copy this address. So I just press the copy button. Hold on, give me a second. Let me go back into broadcast mode. Sorry about that, guys. We're going to go back into broadcast mode. Okay, here we go. So this is the address right here that I'm talking about, this long address, Bitcoin address. This is where we are sending it. So we will copy that. See, copy the clipboard, okay? But keep in mind, we have we want to send this exact amount where it says send BTC at the top. 
we want to go there. So let me see. Z point zero, 132, 1924. 132, 1924. 132, 1924. That's what we want to send. We'll click withdraw. Now, normally, when you have it up on your computer, which I don't right here, you can scan that QR code. But since you don't and we copied it, you will press enter manually at the bottom and you will paste that address in here, press next. And for the sake of the video, I'm not gonna send $100 to the broker. I just wanted to do this quick video to be able to show you guys how to be, exactly how to be able to do that. And once you do that, it'll show up here in your broker. Um, you'll receive an email from Cash App saying that your, your um, deposit has been confirmed through the blockchain or your withdrawal has been confirmed through the blockchain. And then, you know, wait about 15 to 30 minutes and then you'll see you'll see uh, your Bitcoin or excuse me, your broker will be to have your deposit in there, your $100 deposit in there, okay? And then what you'll want to do, once that money is in there, you'll go here and you'll go to internal transfer, okay? Select transfer type. You're going to send it from your wallet to your MT4. You're going to select from which wallet? The US dollar wallet. You'll see $100 there that you deposited. Select the account. You go ahead and select the account that you're sending it to, right? And then you type in that amount. You go ahead and type in $100 in that there, request a transfer, and then now it's live in your MetaTrader 4 in order for you to be able to start trading. All right, so that's the end of this video, guys. I'll holla at y'all soon. Next video, peace.